Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you guys are doing great. Today in this video, we are going to learn about an absolutely amazing cut and slice transition effect. You guys will definitely love this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Before we start the video, kindly hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any future amazing videos like this. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Now, create a new project. I will name this as cut in transition. Click OK. We will now import our three stock footages onto our project panel. Take these three stock footages and bring it to the project panel like this. We will bring the first video onto our sequence panel to create a new sequence. And bring the second video. Just like this and bring the third video. Now we have all three videos on our timeline. We don't need this audio on our video so we will delete this. How do you do that? Just right click over here and click the unlink. Then select the audio, press delete. Do the same here. Right click, go to unlink, select the audio, delete it. Let's play the stock footages. And that is the three stock footages we have. Here we have our first stock footages and here we have our second stock footage. Now we have to create this cut in assemble transition effect. And how do you do that? First we have to select the frame that we want to cut. Zoom in on the timeline. You can see the frame time here or you can press the right arrow to go to next frame. Just like this. In the first 5 frames you can choose any of the frame. Any single frame. I will choose the second frame over here. Maybe first. We will use this frame as our cut in effect. What you have to do? We have to take a snapshot of this. And how do you do that? You have to click on the snapshot icon. If you don't see this icon, go to this plus button over here. You can see the camera icon over here. All you have to do, just drag it and bring it here. Since you already have, we don't need to do that. Click OK. We now have our time indicator on the first frame. We will click on the export frame icon over here. I will name it as frame. You can click on this browse button to change the destination of your location. Since we have to cut this mountain over here as the cut in transition, we have to crop this, but we can't do this on Premiere Pro because Premiere Pro is not the type of program where you can compose it. Even if you go to the pen tool over here and take it, just try to crop it, it won't happen. It's really difficult to do that. That's why we have to go to Photoshop and crop it over there. Let's go to the Photoshop. Here we now on our Photoshop, we will create a new project by pressing Ctrl N on your keyboard. We will use the 1920 and 2080 resolution is 300 and RGB color white click OK we will bring our exported frame drag it over here now let's start cutting it we don't need to use the pen tool to cut it all we have to do is just right click over here and click on the quick selection tool just select it like this just like that since I want to create a two type of cut slide in transition, I'm going to export this first selection over here. What you have to do, press Ctrl C on your keyboard. Press Ctrl Shift N on your keyboard to create a new layer. All you have to do, click OK. Now press Ctrl V. You won't see anything right now, but if I hide our exported frame over here, there, you can see it. Here we now have our whole the mountain as a separate layer, we will export it. Since we have to use it for the transition, we don't need any background over here. So we will hide this by clicking on this eye icon. There. We will export this photo. Press Ctrl Shift Alt S on your keyboard. Make sure your format is in PNG and not on JPEG. It's really important guys. Now click on the save. I will save it as first mount. Click OK. Now we will copy and paste the rest of the mountain on a new layer. Hide this layer. Unhide our frame layer. Make sure you select our frame layer over here. Again take the quick selection tool. Just select it like this. That looks really good. 
press ctrl c on your keyboard again press ctrl shift n on your keyboard to create a new layer click ok press ctrl v to paste it that's all we now have our second part as a new layer press ctrl shift alt and s on your keyboard to export it make sure the format is in png click save i will save it as second mount click the save that's it now we don't need this here we know in our premiere pro we will create the new video tracks over here right click over here and select add tracks change the add to two video layer tracks click ok we will take this second video footage over here since we want to create the transition for this we will take it and place it on the video track 3 over here just like that now we will bring in our exporter mountains select this first mountain and second mountain and bring it to the project panel like this bring the first mountain onto the timeline it's looking kind of weird over here but we will fix this super soon take the image and bring it over at the end of the video just like that we will create a little slide in animation over here select the mountain layer make sure you remember the default position values so keyframe the position over here by clicking on this watch icon take this keyframe and place it at the beginning just like that we will get the mountain out of our view so we will drag it to the right slide it like this take this keyframe and place it at the beginning just click on this reset parameter icon just like that it will automatically reset the position where it's been and it will create a keyframe automatically it's really that simple Let's play it and see how it looks. That looks good. You can see the slide in animation here. Yeah. Bring the second mountain layer to the video track 4. Now take the time indicator where our first mountain animation exactly stops. We will bring the second mountain layer to that time. Just like that. Since we created the slide in animation for our first mountain layer from right to left. We will create the second mountain layer animation as from bottom to top. Take the time indicator at the beginning. Keep in the question over here. And bring the mountain layer to the below. Just like that. Since we created a keyframe, take the time indicator and go to 5 frames to the right. Press the right arrow key 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just like that. Click on this reset parameter icon to create a keyframe at the same time bring it back to its position. Now let's play it and see how it looks. There, that looks really good. We are almost finished with our transition. Now we have to create this link transition from photo to video and how you do that? Take the time indicator over here. Make sure it's at the end of the keyframe just like that. Select this both layer, take this razor tool over here and cut the both layers just like that. Select the splitter two layers right here and right click over here, select nest. Click OK. Bring this nest layer to the video track 2. Why we have to nest this layer and put it on the video track 2, I will explain it in a bit. First, make sure the time indicator is at the end of our mountain layer. Press the arrow four times on your keyboard. One, 2, 3, 4. Now bring the video over here, put it like this. Now let's play it and see how it looks. It's almost done but you can see there is a little jump over here. There's a blackout over here. We will fix this in a second. We have to create this reveal transition from the photo to video. And how you do that? Take the time indicator and bring it to the first frame of our video. Select the video. We will create a mask over here. Click on this create ellipse mask. There. We will make it as a round shape. Drag this like here and drag it to the left. Now that looks good. In this mask expansion, bring it to the size until you can't see any more mask. Now shrink it. Just like that. There. Keyframe the mask expansion by clicking on the stopwatch over here. 
Now again press 5 times on your keyboard. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fire. Now expand the mask until you see the video completely. Just drag it like this, just like that. You can see the mask is little too sharp at the edges. We will feather it down. Go to the mask feather and increase its size. Just like that. Now expand it. That looks completely good. Now let's play it and see the magic. There, yeah, that looks amazing. And that's how you create this cut and slide transition effect. If you can be a little creative with this transition, you can achieve some insane transition effect guys. Believe me, you will be amazed yourself. We are finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you like this video, please kindly hit the like button. If you want to see more amazing tutorial like this, please kindly hit the subscribe button. I hope you guys see you on the next video. Stay safe and thank you.